It's going to cost more money to fix the damaged Oroville spillway than first thought. In fact, state water officials say the cost will be nearly double the original estimate. And that's because they say the project has required more excavation and concrete than expected. Crews say they are on schedule to finish pouring concrete before the November deadline. Meanwhile, with the first widespread rainfall of the wet season approaching, agencies all across Northern California are making preparations for more water to be added to our infrastructure. So we wanted to know, are our reservoirs rain ready? CBS 13's meteorologist Lisa Meadows is in the newsroom getting answers. Lisa? Sam and Christina, after what we saw with our wet season last year, it's no surprise that people are already talking about how our water infrastructure is going to hold up coming up here this wet season. Well, I talked to the Bureau of Reclamation today, and they said California's prepared. We haven't had a widespread rainfall in Northern California for months. But water releases from our rain-filled dams have continued, rain or shine. For habitat, for water deliveries to our water contractors, and we have been releasing water to meet the demands of the system. A system that is a lot more full this year. So Central Valley Project wide throughout the Northern California area, we're at about 145% of average as far as storage goes in our reservoirs. So will water regulation this wet season be different than the last? There might be what we call blue sky releases, which means we may not see clouds in the sky, we may not be experiencing a rain event, but you may see releases coming out of our reservoirs. Another new fail safe this year is the Folsom Auxiliary Spillway. It's an emergency spillway, so it's something that we would use in times of really high water coming in. You know, if we got those six or seven atmospheric rivers coming through like we did last year, we would be making room in our reservoirs to catch those. Lessons learned from last year. We feel very confident that our facilities are more than adequately ready to handle whatever comes our way. When it comes to the Oroville Dam, the plan there is to make sure and keep the water level at least 80 feet below where they usually keep it to keep that water away from the spillway construction. All right. Lisa Meadows in the newsroom for us. Lisa, thank you. The wet season is coming. <laughs>